What's going on? It's the Rap Nerd, and it is a new week, so that means it's a new segment of my weekly physical media haul vlogs. Now, this week was a huge week for physical media. There are a whole lot of releases to get into, but before I show you guys what I bought, I gotta make a disclaimer here. Two big joints that I was really looking forward to, I was not able to get, and that is Inner Violent Nature and Cuckoo. I pre-ordered these things on Amazon back in August, only to wake up Monday morning to see that it's out of stock. So annoying, man. What's the purpose of a pre-order if you still can't get your hands on it? This is the fourth film this year that's done this, whether it be something getting pushed back or them not having enough copies, whatever it is. Luckily, I was able to order both films from different sites, so those will be coming next week, and once I do get those, I'll show you guys, but I'm not gonna cry with spilled milk, so let's go ahead and get into what I was able to purchase. Now, the first thing on the list to pick up, and you'll probably see in everybody's physical media vlogs, is Deadpool and Wolverine. Now, there are a bunch of different versions of this film. There are a bunch of different versions of this film. There's a standard Blu-ray that I think has a white slipcase. There's a different version with Deadpool's head and all the characters jumping that's in Blu-ray format. There are two different steel books, one with Deadpool at the center and the other with Wolverine at the center. And this is the Walmart exclusive. And honestly, the steel book did look great and I did want to buy it until I saw the price. They were selling, I think, for 65 beans and I was like, yeah, I really enjoyed this film, but I ain't spending that kind of money. But this right here was only 30 and what I like about it is the artwork when you open a slipcase up. So that's the front right here, which I love this artwork right here, straight out of the movie. Turn it around, of course, that's the back. And this is only a Blu-ray and a digital code, so it's not a 4K. Hopefully, they'll make another steelbook down the line, and I'll purchase that depending on what the art looks like and if the price is manageable. But um, here's the cool thing about it, though. You open that up, and the characters pop out. Hold like this so you can kind of see. It doesn't pop out too much, but... I still think this is just a dope piece of artwork to have because in a few years this is going to be looked at on as a really really cool exclusive to have i just love little stuff like this as soon as i saw this i was sold on it and i was able to get it in store i mean you should probably be able to get it in any walmart you walk in just make sure you get it pretty fast because physical media has been booming this year and who knows how long this thing is going to last on the shelf so deadpool and wolverine and the thing I'm, I'm gonna start doing when I do these vlogs is if I don't slide the case out or show you the inside of the film or anything else, that means it's pretty standard. There's no extra stuff within the artwork. I don't feel like I have to waste you guys time showing you the same thing that you can see on the front of the movie. The inside case is the exact same. The disc inside has a standard art, so I'm not gonna waste your time, but Deadpool Wolverine had to grab this. The next joint that released that I had to grab was Twisters. Now, there is a steel book at Walmart exclusively to the store. Some stores do have them, and you still can order this online, the steel book, if you will. But it wasn't crazy about that. It was just a truck with a twister behind it, and I'm like, I, I think we can do a better design than that. And this one isn't at all that crazy either, but I just had to pick it up and add it to my collection, hoping that down the line, they will have another version to cop that's 4K. But for now, I'm cool with this. It only cost me about $21, I believe. It's pretty cheap. Standard, what you see is what you get. Inside artwork, the same. The Blu-ray artwork, nothing crazy. But I had such an amazing time with this film and I had to bring it home, especially with the first Twisters. That's one of my favorite movies ever. And I feel like this movie did that one justice didn't step on anything. I don't even think it was like a direct sequel. My wife hasn't seen this, so I can't wait to pop this in and go on a joy ride of Twisters because a whole lot of fun. And the next film that I had to pick up was Oddity, and this is one of my favorite horror films of the year, and it was pretty damn scary. There's a quote here that says, there's a quote here that says one of the, there's a quote here that says one of the scariest movies of the year, and I agree 100%. I really love when physical media releases for a film and they give it different artwork than what the regular poster was. 
And granted, the poster for this is cool, but I remember when I saw this on my website, looking up what's releasing this month, I was floored by this artwork because this thing in the film, if you think that this is frightening, you gotta see the film because this doesn't even do the movie justice as to how creepy and scary shit gets. Cannot wait to watch this again. I mean, turn that on the back, and, you know, stare to what you have in a Blu-ray and the inside is the same way. And this is just a Blu-ray disc, but man, love this and knowing that this isn't a widely known film i do have a review of if you want to watch that to see if you want to watch the film but a quick synopsis about the film is this mind reader's twin sister is killed in a new home she just purchased with her husband and she goes to the property to kind of figure out what's going on and as she gets there she learns more about the truth and paranormal activity ensues it's all i'm gonna say if it does sound interesting definitely give it a watch this on shutter right now you can even blind buy this thing i think it was only like 18 dollars or something like that totally worth the watch and the purchase if you are a horror fan love this and had to grab it out of the now the next film they released this week is the Babadook and this is the 10th anniversary edition and I already have the standard Blu-ray of this film without a slipcase somewhere in my collection and I already was eyeing the pop-out book version it's a red cover I think Screen Factory released it and it's dope as well but when I saw this I was like you know what I'll save me some money because the version I'm talking about costs quite a bit of money and I'm like don't really feel like spending that and then this was under $20 I believe it was $18 as well and honestly, I love this artwork. It looks like it's hand drawn and you can see the creature up here and the mom and the son here in bed. But it is a great horror film. And I had to have an exclusive version of this. That's the back. And again, inside is the same thing, standard. Not gonna waste your time, but man, really, really do love this artwork, man. And the next purchase that I made this week was Wolfman. When I saw this cover art on Instagram, I lost it. I think that this is super duper fire, way different than the standard poster, and it caught my attention. I, I believe if you go right now to the Screen Factory's Instagram, when they first announced this, you can see a comment from me saying, oh my God, because this artwork is just phenomenal. This is a 4K, and this has always been a movie that I've loved since I've seen it in theaters. And I never owned it, so I figured what better time than to buy it than the Shout Factory release. And it's in 4K and regular Blu-ray. So that's the front. That is the back. And honestly, with this, Shout Factory usually does have extras, whether it be artwork and things inside. But surprisingly, this is pretty standard and hollow in regards to the details inside there are three discs of course the blu-ray with the director's cut and the theatrical and then it's separated in two different versions on the 4k disc you have a 4k theatrical and then a 4k uncut but like i said i'm surprised that they don't even have the reverse artwork in this one it's just the same artwork here which i'm not mad at because i bought it for this but i'm just used to the screen factory having more but all in all had to grab this one of my favorite creature features hell it's in my top 10 werewolf movies had to get this i'm gonna dive into this next month as soon as halloween season is over and just a great pickup overall now this next set of films i saved for last because i know there are some physical media purists who don't appreciate this and these are all non-official versions of the film because they were straight streaming movies that i absolutely loved and adored and had to have it so just putting that disclaimer out there if you don't like non-official copies or bootleg copies as if you will this ain't for you but let's go ahead and get into them so the first non-official release that i copped is salem's lot this is the remake that hit max earlier this month and i love this movie yes i'm aware that it is nothing crazy it's not great it's not terrible it's literally dead smack in the middle of a movie it just feels like salem's lot was created by the conjuring universe and it even says that like here in in the trailer from the producers of the conjuring universe but you know what i like it because of that all i wanted was an abridged version of the three hour version from the 70s that's modernized through technology and which what, what i said is exactly what i got and i loved it so like i said this is an unofficial copy turn that around 
And they even got this cool thing, right? When you open it up, you have a picture right here. And this I'll show you the inside because I know people probably wonder like what it looks like. Just like the slipcase. Boom. And then the disc is the same as the slipcase artwork. And this thing only cost me $12. Got it right off of eBay, free shipping. It took about two weeks to get because it, it did come from a foreign place, but I just had to have it. And make no mistake, if Warner does release an official version of this film, I will buy it. I've bought bootlegs in the past not knowing if we're gonna get a release and when that happened i purchased that one so if they do release it best believe i will be the first person out to buy it because i feel like i'm like the only person in the world that really enjoyed this film and i wanted to have it in my collection so salem's lot the remake non-official and this is great quality honestly man so for those wondering about bootlegs that they may have seen on eBay, just know that this is the kind of quality. When they look like this, this is what they look like. So, I had to grab it. But the next two movies were also not official, but again, I adore these films and I had to have them. And that is Rebel Moon 1 and 2, the director's cuts. I already have the first versions, but these I love. I still think Netflix did Zack Snyder so dirty. When I saw these versions, it really hyped me up. And in other words, zactivated me. Like, I like the first two, but these I adore. Like, after I saw those two, I bought all of the Funkos. I bought t-shirts. And I had to get these versions to have at home. So, the slipcases are the artwork that were released when the direct cuts were announced. And if you put them together, it's one big poster like this on me. Fuck it. That is so hard dog oh man these are fresh as hell so how did i get these first of all these slip cases are custom there's this guy on instagram who i've used before custom slip covers i believe is his name and he made both of these slip cases for me because i wanted to have this art specifically for the outside and it's got chalice of blood here the curse of forgiveness here and i had to have both of these versions and on the back is the same thing, the same synopsis for both director's cuts. I just said make it standard, so that's that. On the sides, you see that? So let me show you the inside of them. Right? So you have the director's cuts of each one here, and these discs actually came from this website called eCrater, and they were the only version, so I bought them, they're no longer on there. I'm pretty sure if you search somewhere else, you can find these online. As a matter of fact, there is a website called Online Movie Shop, I believe, or something like that, who also sells streaming movies, you know, in physical media format. But they didn't have this kind of artwork. I wanted something specific. It actually said Director's Cuts. And down here, you can see it. It's really small. Director's Cut. Director's Cut. You turn them around. You got the back for each one here. So as a fan of Zack Snyder and a fan of both of these director's cuts, this really made my collection what it is for 2024 because these are, these are easily some of my favorite movies of the year. We'll be revealing my top 10 later, but these, these are both in my top 10 and I had to have them because, you know, for me, if I love a movie, I have to have it on my shelf. That just is what it is, man. So Rebel Moon, Chapter 1 and 2, physical media, custom slip cases with the Blu-rays coming from E-Crater. So those are all the films that I purchased this week. Let me know in the comments what did you pick up, whether it be something older or a new release that I just didn't see. Were you able to get In a Violent Nature and Cuckoo? And if you do like physical media, make your videos, post your photos and all of that to let these companies know that we still collect out here. You know what I mean? So if you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, thank you. And until next time, peace. Rap nerd productions, no capping, that's word to mommy Instead of banking on it, no rapping is just a hobby <laughs>